And the list of New Mexico's most dangerous cities is out, and the rankings may surprise you. Good afternoon. Numbers from the FBI pin a northern New Mexico city as the most dangerous city in the state. They were compiled by a security company, Home Security Shield. They say you have a one in nine chance of being a victim of a crime when you go to Española. News 13's Catherine Mazzone is live in northern New Mexico with the details. Catherine. Kim, we want to point out that all of these facts are per capita. Now, when we talk to residents in Española, we got mixed reaction. Some say they were surprised. Others say they've seen crime firsthand. That I've seen, yes. I've lived in Española my whole life, and I would have to disagree with that. The figures show Española with just over 10,300 people saw 26 violent crimes and 84 property crimes per 1,000 residents. In fact, police say in 2012, when those stats were taken, they saw 83 home burglaries in just one month. They say burglaries are closely tied with violent crime. So to knock crime numbers down, police say they created a property crimes task force, tracking known offenders and learning their tactics. Just a year later that same month, figures show only three burglaries. Police say that definitely spells progress, but there's still work to be done. We just continue to battle, continue to fight the fight that we've been fighting, and um, I think we've gained a lot more trust from the public. Now, police say another step in the right direction. More people are calling in about crimes that were previously unreported. Kim, back to you. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Now, many people might have assumed Albuquerque was the most dangerous city. It actually came in eighth. So what were the top five most dangerous cities here? After Española was Gallup. Artesia was ranked number three, Farmington number four, and Taos came in fifth. As we mentioned, Home Security Shield took these numbers and compiled them into the list. Here's a look at the math behind the figures. They took the violent crimes number and added it with the property crimes to come up with the total number of reported crime. That number was then divided by the population number of 1,000 to come up with the crime rate.